Welcome here to episode 43. Today we have for you a combination of all the Vampire Lord bosses, along with the Bank Robbery Mini World Change location and routes. So let's start here in uh, Narbor with Diblis the Fair. This vampire boss spawns with a handful of banshees on... Let's see, let's see. Here we go. There is Diblis and a multitude of banshees. We already blew through our UE, so that's not going to help us any. And after our poor performance of killing this boss, this is our sorcerer, by the way. We got our vampire lord token and 36 gold on the coin scale. Up next here we have Zevalon Dustbringer. This is in Hellgate along the um there's some quest that goes along here. I can't think of the name of it now. Is it um is it Ape City? I think that goes through here? Possibly. Anyway, we're going to clear up some of this nonsense out of the way and let's go take care of Zevlon Dustbreaker. Just a handful of vampires and invisible, of course, short work of that. A ring of healing, a vampire lord token, 69 gold coins. Beautiful. I think I spent about four or five days trying to find this was a simpler boss to find. For us, unlike Diblis, that took us a long time. That took us nearly two weeks, I think it was. So here's Sir Valacrest. Uh, I was halfway, I just happened to run down here. I didn't even realize it was Sir Valacrest here. Just a simple vampire lore token. So I had killed a bunch of stuff, and then it was like, oh, that's actually the boss is here. I should probably record this. This is what, back on our druid. Anyway, next up is Arak, Arak, Archer, Arakir the Ancient. No clue how to say that one, but that's uh, the whole talking part of my brain's failing, so... Whatever that guy's name is, this... You get hit pretty good, especially when you get trapped between two liches. You know, using your big brain. Short work of Arc here, though. Arc here, whatever. And now this is the longest loot list I've ever gotten from a vamp boss. Or a token, Black Pearl, Blood Preservation. This is over in Drefia. Down deep below there. Now, this is the first time I've ever killed that boss. I killed that one quite a few times. It's a kind of pain to get there, but it's not too bad. Moving along here, we are in Abdendriel now. And we are running through to the Dwarven Mines, where we are going to take care of Elvira Hammer Thrust and retrieve the bag of stolen gold from her. I don't know the name of this, which mine this is. It's the one on the little island in between there. Just a simple down down. And right here is Alvira Hammer Thrust. So I really don't like that name. Just don't feel comfortable saying it. <laughs> anyway. Take care of Alvira here. What do we get for gold? They're usually pretty good. Payout wise. 6,100 platinum. I mean gold. 6.1k. We got the gold bag there. So let's get this back to Abdentrial. I guess we'll stop by here. And let's drop Bibby by that. So for Bibby, what you got to do is kill all this stuff here, get it all out the way, and then you wait for what seems like an eternity before Bibby finally spawns. Burning some daylight here. Okay, there's Bibby, and then you get absolutely no loot. Get her two-handed sword, handful of gold, and like two platinums, and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, exactly. That never. Never drops anything. I think it drops one of Butcher's Axe. Junk. I think there's what one achievement for it. That's it. Anyways, we're back in Abdentrio here. Let's get this turned in. Big bag over our shoulders. There you go. Get 1,000 gold to returning that. And treat a special for you. Here is the Frog Prince. This is up in Thias. This is a rare spot. I didn't even know this was a thing here. I was just looking through bosses on Tibia Wiki and I had noticed this and I was like, huh, let's go check this out. And sure enough, she was right there for us. So there's the Frog Prince. If you ever up here in Thias and you see green frogs hopping around, Frog Prince is near. Moving along from the Frog Prince onto Robby the Reckless here in Carlin. Uh, this seems to be the most common robbery mini world change that I've gotten. 
Adendro would be the second most that I've seen, but Carlin's by far the most. I've saved half of, easily half of what I've done. I think I've gotten 11 of them between my different characters, and 5 or 6 of them were here. So you go through the, was it the ghost lands? Yeah, you go through the ghost lands, go down the hole to the west, not towards the quest, you go straight to the west. And here's Robbie the Reckless. Very easy, I think 120 hit points, knock it right down. Eight point seven K and the uh, bag with stolen gold in it. So let's get back to Carlin. And this will give us the gold hunter achievement when we turn this one in. All that shiny glittering gold. There you are. There we go. Gold hunter achievement. So once we So now we'll move on from Carlin here, sorry, I couldn't think of what, my brain's failing me a little bit here, I got the Parkinson's and it doesn't make sense for thinking words sometimes to get them out the mouthpiece. Anyway, we're going to move over to uh, Venor here, not the IS Venor, and Kale more Nenian. We need to head to Shadow Thorn? Is, it, is that what it's called over there where the elves are? So we're going to run over here and this one, I've seen this one robbed a few times and I've never gotten the, I've never been able to get the boss and seems like nobody ever turns the thing in either because the, I, this is the third time I've seen it. No, this is the second time. Sorry. This is the second time I've seen it. And uh, what am I trying to, yeah, this, sorry, I was confusing this with a different one. Okay, so yeah, this is the second time I've seen this. The first time I saw this, whoever got the bag didn't turn it in. Because that thing was, you couldn't use this bank all day. Pretty cut up if you ask me. So anyway, if you're looking for Bornendian, we can see it looks exactly like a Minnow Archer. Not a Minnow Archer, and Elf Scout, sorry. Short work of 8,900 gold. So let's get back to Thias. Get our reward for this character, thousand gold. Shadow Thor. Let's get this turned in. Get our thousand gold reward here to Rockin. And then after this, we're going to head over to Thias. So for Jesse the Wicked here in Thias, we didn't actually get to kill Jesse the Wicked. Somebody got to us before it. We ended up going the wrong way. Don't go this way. Don't go this. This is the wrong way to go. Yeah, yeah, don't go this way. You're going to see here in a moment why you don't want to go this way. Right into a dead end. So let's swing back around here. Go the correct way. Somebody else did kill this and... I was a little bit mad at first because the body's still here. However, I did see afterwards that they got the Gold Hunter achievement, so that was good for them. You see the dead bodies. This is the way you actually want to go. And right down here is Jesse the Wicked, or whatever his name is. And yeah, somebody turned that in. They got their Gold Hunter achievement. That's for turning five of the bags in. Oh, that video ended quicker than I thought. So I had to, you know, clearly I had to overdub on this one here because there was a bunch of different videos, a bunch of different times, and she all got pasted together there. So we're going to wrap this up here. Thank you for watching. We are going to be working on, we have one more character from that druid, and then we're going to be doing a whole bunch of quests on this sorcerer on Optera. It's a non-PVP world I've been playing on. We're also going to be working on our 
Sorcerer, Druid, Knight, Paladin, Paladin, over on Unicera. Now that that world's calmed down from the world merge, and I, I kind of want to play a Paladin, and uh, I want to play a Paladin, and I want to play a Sorcerer. I really like playing Sorcerers, but that Paladin was fun as well. And, um, well, I mean, it's a non-PVP world. It's only as fun as, you know, a non-PVP world can be. Anyway, I'm going to quit rambling here since the video's over. Thank you for watching, and we will see you later.